Hi, this is Patrick Contier, it's the 4th of April today. And I just wanted to show you one of my uh, perennial vegetables that I grow in the garden. Uh, this plant here is called Hablitzia temnoides, otherwise known as Caucasian spinach. And uh, I found out about it from uh, a book called Around the World in 80 Plants by an author called Stephen Barstow. A really interesting guy who collects edible, edimental plants from all around the world. And um, what it's like, it's, it's like a climbing spinach plant that produces all these shoots in the springtime, round about now. And you can eat the leaves and you can eat the shoots and steam them like you would asparagus. So uh, you can see here's one in the ground planted here. And it's going to climb up this frame, which it has done last year and the year before. Um, it's going to go right to the top and I can pick the, the leaves right through the early part of the summer. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably harvest it several times, cutting the shoots back and steaming those. But I will eventually let it go to, go to flower and then it'll do its thing, it'll die back and then it comes back each winter. Um, it's hardy, apparently down to minus 30. Um, and as a, as a source of spring greens, when there's not much available I suppose, or May now we're coming into the hungry gap time when there's not a whole pile to eat in the garden. Um, so, you know, some of these perennial vegetables are really good. So look out for Hablitzia temnoides. Um, to harvest it then, you just come along like that when it's about 10 centimetres long. And that then can be steamed um, as an edible green. And I'll cut those off like that. And that's, that's the bit you eat. And that will grow back again. And then to propagate from it, you can dig up the clump and you can just divide it up as long as you've got a bit of root and a bit of shoot um, you can produce more of it um, i haven't tried growing it from seed but supposedly it's difficult to get seed from it um, but you can divide it quite easily um, it's a hard plant to find you might have to look at some of the, the plant fairs and things like that to come across it but uh, yeah definitely one to get really good plant 